Small spaces to a lot of people seem like a challenge, but to me, they seem like an opportunity. When it comes to small spaces, a little bit can go a really long way. So today I wanted to share with you some of my top tips that I use in design for myself and for my clients when we're designing small spaces. These tips will help you create a very luxurious feel, one that's also approachable and homey. I hope you'll love the video. I hope you'll love these tips and tricks. Make sure you hit subscribe if you haven't already. We've got more content coming your way very soon. Cheers, let's jump in. One of the biggest challenges when having a small space really isn't the small space itself, it really is the mentality towards your small space. A lot of times people try too hard to make their small spaces feel extra big, okay? It's a little bit like trying to be something that you're just not. So instead, embrace that small space and look at these ideas today that'll really help you celebrate the small size of it and make it the best that it possibly can. Of course, reducing unnecessary clutter will make the space feel a lot bigger, but taking out all the personality out of a space and making it too functional can also make the space just feel a little bit boring. So somewhere in here is the balance. So if you've got a small bedroom, think about layering on the pillows and blankets. Add a down duvet, add a quilt, add a blanket, add the sleeping pillows and the shams and even throw pillows. When you want a small space to feel more luxurious, it's not just about how many things you use, it's also about what you use. So one of my favorite things to do in a small space is to use luxurious fabrics. Think about using beautiful, rich velvets, uh, if you want a more natural look, you could go for really dense linen. You could go for cottons. Think about also the details in those. You might wanna think about upgrading your pillows to beautiful designs. One of my favorite sources is Ralph Lauren. I think that they make some absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous linens, and they do have a range of prices as well. I talk about Schumacher all the time because I really love their beautiful fabrics. You can get on Etsy and have items handmade for your small space. You may also wanna think about upgrading the, the sheets themselves. Go for a luxe sateen sheet. Go for beautiful velvet curtains or a pleating in those curtains. Another source that I love if you're working on a budget is actually H&M. They have some beautiful pattern pillows and sateen sheets and a lot of options that I think could really help your bedroom feel amazing as well as look really good. So I'll leave links for those down below for you guys if you wanna do a little bit of shopping. I also love in a small space to try to squeeze in a chair. There's just something so decadent about having a chair in the bedroom. And so I'm always trying to get that in. I think that you could go for something more modern. You could go for a boucle chair. You could go for a velvet chair. You could go for something that swivels. That's one of my favorite things. Sometimes you may not have room for an armchair and having a swivel or a slightly smaller scale chair will help you squeeze that in. But you could also look at an even smaller scale chair that just has some arms on it and it just nicely fits in the corner. It ends up doubling as a place to store items and you know to set your bag down or if it's a guest bedroom, somewhere for your guests to set their clothes or a handbag right when they come into the room. Uh, so I think it's just a a really nice thing to have a chair. It acts as a little extra storage. And I think that's very luxurious in feeling as well as in looks. Rugs have a big impact on a room no matter what room you're using it in, but in a small room especially, the rug is really important. So think about some luxe materials and using those in the bedroom. So I love anything that has a really soft, silky feel to it. You can definitely go for rugs that have silk in them. You've got so many different choices. You could go for something more Persian, Oriental style. You could go for something more modern and contemporary. But the feeling of those rugs is really important because it really catches the eye and it also feels so good under your feet. I talk all the time also about some of the Amazon rugs that I found, like the one in this room that has a really nice silky feel to it. So the options really are limitless and it really isn't about budget. It's really about trying to create that gorgeous luxe 
feel. I'm excited to take just a moment and thank our video sponsor for today, which is Home Aglow. No matter what size home we have, let's face it, one of the biggest challenges we all deal with is keeping our spaces clean. Our lives are busier than ever nowadays and trying to find the time to clean our homes can be a little bit overwhelming. And I think we can all agree, having a clean home definitely affects the way that we feel, it affects the way that we see our spaces, and so I have recently discovered Home Aglow. Home Aglow is an incredible five-star house cleaning service that is offered at affordable prices. They have easy online booking capabilities so you can instantaneously schedule top rated cleaners in your area for a special occasion or regularly with their forever clean membership it's so easy to just hop online to home and glow's website you can schedule the day or time you're looking for the duration of your cleaning you can schedule as quickly as the week of if you need somebody pretty quickly or you can also schedule in advance maybe if you have a special occasion coming up you can browse the photos and reviews of the back background check cleaners before choosing the right cleaner for you. And you can also sign up for their Forever Clean membership, which saves you $30 an hour on all future cleanings. Book unlimited cleanings starting at $19 an hour, backed by Home and Glow's happiness guarantee. I found it so easy to use, literally just hopped onto the website. I was able to schedule for the exact day, even the time frame that I wanted the cleaner to be able to come. And then after that, I was given a choice. To me, I found the most challenging part actually just trying to choose because there were so many good options with five-star ratings in my area. So I, I thought that was incredible. For me personally, having a clean home reduces my stress and anxiety. I just get so excited about Home Aglow because it's so affordable and it's so accessible and it's available all throughout the US. So take home cleaning off your plate by using Home Aglow. Head to homeaglow.com backslash House of Valentina or scan the QR code to get your first three hours of cleaning for only $19. I found the service to be absolutely amazing. I loved it. It was so convenient and I think you guys are gonna love it as well. So I will leave all the details listed down below for you in the show notes. Thank you again to Home Aglow for being our video sponsor. Let's talk about the living room for a minute. So when it comes to the living room, think about how can you add some built-ins or some really nice bookshelves. That really helps you get a lot of use out of your space, but it also gives you a lot of visual interest in a room. You could go for something where you could go for open shelving, you could go for uh, glass front cabinets, you could go for a mix. I like sometimes having glass on top and then closed on the bottom. Going big on the rug in your living room, even when it's small, is a really big deal, okay? Because you're trying to get a lot of furniture in there and it needs to be anchored by something and that's the rug's job. Just like in the bedroom, using luxurious materials really does help it to feel luxurious, but you need that rug also to pull everything together and to give you a sort of coziness that really helps it to be approachable and luxurious at the same time. One of the biggest mistakes that people make with a small living room is that they go too small on the sofa. They try to downsize it and it just makes the room feel too small and it also takes the function away from the space. So we always try to fit as large of a sofa as we possibly can. I like to leave room at least for a small side table and a slimline floor lamp but going larger on that sofa will help the space to not only feel filled out, but it'll also help the space to actually function. You also wanna make sure that you don't go too small on the coffee table. Going large on the coffee table is another great way of expanding the way that your room feels. Now the advantage to having a small space is that your larger coffee table isn't gonna be as large as someone who has a humongous room, right? So you can really spend your money well and get amazing, amazing coffee tables. So yes, upsize as much as you can, but really go for luxurious materials. Travertine, marble, real wood, all these materials really help your coffee table to feel really luxurious and make a high impact in a small space because you're not gonna have as much room to fill it with a lot of things. So 
filling out that coffee table with beautiful books and sculptural pieces will really help the entire space feel more elevated. Same for the sofa, adding beautiful, luxurious materials to the sofa through pillows and blankets. Go for the cashmere, go for that velvet. It's gonna be amazing and you're gonna love the result. Now, a lot of times when we're working with small spaces, we don't have room for a TV. And so generally, a lot of times, people wanna put it over the fireplace. Well, sometimes they wanna fit a TV in that's just too big. You wanna look for something that's gonna fit within the framework of the space it's going into. So if that's on top of a fireplace, don't use every last inch of it. It's gonna make the room feel smaller. What you wanna do is scale that TV down to where it fits within and it has a couple inches on each side of the TV so that you can see the fireplace on all sides of the TV. I, of course, love the frame TV. I recommend it all the time because it looks like a picture and it looks amazing in a room and it really just helps it to feel finished when you aren't using the TV. You could also conceal it. When it comes to concealing the TV, you could think about going for an armoire. I still think that those have such a good use in our living rooms. I think it's one of those pieces that are getting a little bit harder to find, but then you could just pick them up for almost nothing. So I say go for it. I think an armoire is a great way to conceal the TV. Maybe it's hidden behind the artwork and the artwork moves to the side. You could have some doors in your built-ins that also just open. There's a lot of different ways to hide your TV, but when the TV just overwhelms the room, that's what you really want to avoid. When it comes to small spaces, employing the idea of multi-purpose is kind of paramount. A lot of times it's not just one room that's a small space, it's the overall space itself that is small. So when it comes to having small spaces overall, thinking about how you can use your space for multiple functions will really expand the usefulness of your spaces. So for a dining room, for example, even in my own house, I still use the dining room as a dining room, but I also have a desk tucked to the side. That way I'm able to use it in multiple ways. I can entertain, I can have clients over, I can have my design work just spread out over the table and it becomes a work table. It really is nice and I'm able to really get a lot of use out of that room. You may also want to add a desk or a vanity into a living room, into a bedroom. These are ways of really expanding the usefulness of those spaces. I think having a sofa that converts into a bed, that's a really nice way of giving yourself a guest room when you maybe just don't have enough space to have guests over. Think about multi-purpose furniture as well. So the coffee table, yes, it's a place to set your cup down, but it can also become a library where you can stack your books on top of it. You might want to have some hidden storage through drawers or I love coffee tables where they have a shelf underneath because you can store all sorts of things under there. If you want to store things that aren't maybe as pretty as books and sculptures, you could think about using boxes and baskets to hide some of the everyday clutter inside of them. I love side tables and ottomans as well in any size space, but especially in a small space, it really becomes very useful. You can have these ottomans that sit right with the coffee table. They can be right in front of the sofa. They can even act as a side table themselves and they become extra seating when you have guests over. That's something that I use in my own home all the time. And I love it when I have my big, my big family over and everybody has a spot to sit. Ottomans are so great for that purpose and they come in so many beautiful shapes and sizes. So when you want to create a more luxurious feel, think about the fabrics themselves. Think about velvets and silks. I love boucle as well. I think that can look very luxurious mixed into a luxurious space. You could also use a really nice heavyweight linen. You could also have them upholstered in a really nice designer fabric. And if you really want to expand its usefulness, think about getting an ottoman that has storage hidden inside of it.
Of course, with small spaces, we're looking for some really good hacks that are gonna help us get the most out of the space that we do have. So I wanna share with you some of these easy hacks that you can use right now in your home and they will instantaneously give you more space. They're little tricks of the eye that really have a huge impact. They help the space not only feel bigger, but they also help it to feel more luxurious, like to mount as much as possible. So what is included in that? Well, mounting pictures, instead of leaning pictures and mirrors on the floor, mount them. Don't leave them leaning at all. Put everything up on the walls. Think about your nightstands. You might be able to get in a small scale nightstand, again, going for those beautiful, luxurious materials, but mounting them on the wall frees up the floor space underneath as well. Either way, going for nightstands that have storage within them is a really big deal and it'll really help you get the most use out of those nightstands. Also think about mounting your lighting. A lot of times we're trying to put table lamps on top of our already small nightstands and we're just taking all the space out of the room. But if we mount those up on the wall, we mount sconces up on the wall instead, now we have the space on the nightstands free. You could also think about pendants. Those are really nice options for a small space. You could also mount a light in the corner and create a little reading nook in the corner. And it also just creates a lot of ambiance. I almost always try to squeeze a chandelier in to a space, even when it's small. That can be a little bit challenging when the ceilings are low. It's not just that the dimensions of the room are small, it's that the ceilings are low as well. So you may think about doing recess lighting and skipping the chandelier in that situation, and then just make sure that you get a lot of lighting up on the actual walls, and that'll give you the feeling of light being moved around the room. Another great tactic to employ is to mount shelving. Rather than having them sitting on the floor, it gives you the visual feeling of having more space when you mount them on the wall. I think too, also thinking about if you can see through them, that also helps as well because you're just creating the feeling of light and space. So you can mount shelves over the bed, you can mount them over a desk. You can mount them in your kitchen. This isn't just for bedrooms. You can also do this in the living room. You can do it in the kitchen. You could do it in a breakfast room. You could do it even over the windows. When it comes to mounting shelves, you've got a lot of options and it's what you fill them with in the materials themselves that make it feel more luxurious. So moving away from it being too functional and avoiding materials that are synthetic will definitely help whatever you're mounting feel more luxurious. Well, these are just a few of my favorite ways to make small spaces not only feel bigger, but also to help them feel more luxurious. I really do think it is an opportunity, one that we overlook too often. In a world full of Pinterest, I get sucked into it too, guys, I really do. In a world where we think everyone's living in humongous houses, we can look at the spaces that we have and just feel like it's not even worth trying. I think it is so worth giving a try with these tips and tricks and really enjoying the fact that you don't have to spend as much money to have an amazing space. So embrace the opportunity, embrace your small spaces and enjoy them. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed the tips and tricks today. Make sure you hit subscribe if you haven't already and let me know if you'd like to have more small space videos in the future because this was really fun. I really enjoyed it. And uh, cheers, you guys. See you in the next one. Until then, bye-bye. Cheers.